Okay, so for our group, we're gonna demonstrate Boyle's Law. So, Boyle's Law states that pressure and volume have an indirectly proportional relationship with each other. This means when pressure increases, volume then decreases. When pressure decreases, volume then increases. If the volume or pressure of the starting gas is changed, the final volume and pressure can be found. This means that neither the temperature nor the amount of gas is changed. The Boyle's Law equation is P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. P equals pressure, V equals volume, and the K equals the constant of variable, and T equals temperature, and N equals number of moles. The generic equation for gas laws is P1 times V1 over N1 times T1 equals P2 times V2 over N2 times T2. P1 is the starting pressure and can be in any unit. V1 is the starting volume and has to be in meters. P2 is the final pressure, which can be in any unit, and V2, again, is the final volume and has to be in meters. Because the constants of the equation always stay the same, they are able to be cancelled to get the standard equation for Boyle's Law. Boyle's Life Robert Boyle was a natural philosopher who was born in 1627 and died in 1691. He is known as the father of chemistry and influenced many famous scientists such as Isaac Newton. He uh, published a scientific to-do list for his scientific accomplishments for the next centuries, many of which, such as flight and organ transplantation, have been completed. The History of Boyle's Law It was officially published in 1662, but it was first noted by Richard Townley and Henry Power. Both confirmed their discovery by experimentation, and uh, the reason for this is Boyle was one of the only people that believed that air was not an element. Boyle's law appears a lot in everyday life. If you let go of a balloon, as it rises, it eventually pops because pressure decreases, so the volume of the gas in the balloon increases. Deep sea fish die when brought to the surface of the water because pressure decreases, causing the volume of the gas in their bodies to increase. That causes the organs to burst and they die. Soda in soda cans increase in volume when open because the pressure decreases when you open the can. Okay, so what you see here on the photos are different examples of different examples of Boyle's law. And we have a demonstration video ex explaining what's happening. It's really hard to see right now, but what's happening is that as Kristoff is pushing down on the thing, the thingy, the marshmallow is decreasing in size. And when he's increasing the air pressure, I'm sorry, when he's decreasing the air pressure, he's making the marshmallow bigger. And, yeah. The end! The end! The end! Woo! We love science and chem, all that good stuff. Yeah. Yay!